Hey, so we're continuing on our tour of Jersey City, New Jersey, and we're here in Hamilton Park. We're not only in the park, but it's also a neighborhood unto itself. And we're gonna take a little bit of a tour around the park today, show you some real estate that closed in the area recently, and also give you a taste of what it's like to live in this neighborhood, because it's kind of like an all-encompassing neighborhood. You can almost live in this little, um, in this little three block radius um, because you've got everything you need. You've got a little uh, shopping and restaurant section over there. And within the park itself, you've got tennis, you've got a kid's playground, you've got basketball courts, you've got dog, dog park, dog run. Um, and then surrounding the park, you've got these beautiful townhouses and apartment buildings. And we're gonna take a look at a couple of them today that closed recently. Uh, one of them closed last year or so, but it's really beautiful, so I wanted to show that off. Um, but we're looking here just on the south side of the park. And uh, just to tell you a little bit more about Jersey City that we didn't go into detail in the last video, and I'll link it here if you haven't seen it. Um, that was more of the downtown area. This tour we're gonna show you, just like I said. Um, now Jersey City overall is about 284,000 people. And it was, in, it was founded in 1838. It's made up of 21 square miles overall, which breaks down to a density of about 19,800. Um, now, this area is called Hamilton Park for its namesake, Alexander Hamilton, which you've probably heard a lot about in the last few years with the famous play and all. But Hamilton had a big part in the, um, not in the founding per se, but even before the founding, um, this area to the east of us is Newport. Um, and to the south, you've got Paulus Hook. He had a lot to do with the sort of economic development of this area and this park was named in his honor. Now, you might be thinking, oh, there was a famous duel with Alexander Hamilton. It wasn't in this park, that was in Weehawken, a few towns up. Um, so this park is just named after him. It's a beautiful, perfectly square park, and we're gonna get into it and show you a little bit more. Let's get going. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about the Midtown Direct suburbs of New York City, and subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you can be the first to hear about the current market conditions here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff, the team and I, we get calls every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing suburbs, and we love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email so we can help you make an easy, stress-free move to the New York City area. So as I was saying, we're here in Hamilton Park, and I just wanted to highlight a couple more things about the area. We're just um, west of the Newport Path Station. And from there, you're one stop to Manhattan. So really good transit. Um, doesn't get any more Midtown Direct because from there, you're three more, four more stops, I forget how many, to 34th Street Penn Station. And uh, you have uh, other alternatives. If you wanted to walk up to um, Hoboken, you could take one of the ferries. Or if you wanted to walk down to uh, more of the downtown area, you could take another ferry that would get you into the city. So we're walking around the southwest corner of Hamilton Park, and I just wanted to bump over and show you one of the amazing parts about the neighborhood, um, because it has to do with Jersey City Schools. Now, Jersey City Schools overall rated a B minus. Um, there's 27 elementary schools throughout the area, 21 middle schools, and nine high schools. And the reason why I'm walking over here is because I wanted to show you Jersey City's A plus rated high school. Not only is it A plus, but it's rated number one in entire New Jersey state. And it's McNair Academic, which is right behind me. Um, so this school is, like I said, not just um, rated well for itself, but also number one in New Jersey. And it's, um, it's actually a magnet school. So you have to uh, test into this school and place yourself in there. So it's not an automatic in just because you live in the area, but I just want to show it off because it is such a highlight of the neighborhood. All right, so our first stop on our real estate portion of the tour today is 670 Jersey Avenue. Now this isn't a super recent sale, but I wanted to show it off because it's such a beautiful corner spot and it's overlooking the park here. And uh, this was, it sold for 2,100,000 in uh, 2021. It's a four bath, three and a half bath, and it's 2,496 square feet. It's considered a Queen Anne style and was built in 1886. So pretty close to when the, um, when the city was founded. 
Now it's only 17 feet wide and 75 feet deep, but it gives you an idea of what you get right on the park. And it's got this amazing detail, very uh, sort of eclectic look in the Queen Anne style. And this really pretty um, stained glass window around the, around the top sashes. So really interesting property. I love the brick detail as well with all the crenellations and uh, something that consider as a high-end home in this area. Definitely something very special. Um, we're gonna take another look at a slightly smaller house. It's just over there. So continuing on our real estate tour, we just popped over to the west side of the park, which is uh, West Hamilton Park. And this is 44 West Hamilton Park right behind me. This is a four bed, three bath, and it's sold for 1.58 million. It was built in 1865. Uh, the square footage wasn't listed and it's in the Victorian style. Now this one was only 12 and a half feet wide by 70 feet deep. Um, so a little bit narrower than the other one we saw, almost five feet narrow. That's a, that's a big difference. We're getting skinny over here in Hamilton Park, um, but definitely a nice listing uh, that they snatched up here with this park view. Um, here's the view behind me here and really great amenities on the park, like I said. So all these homes, I mean, you could just see how beautiful they are. Again, really good access to the park and to the shops and restaurants on the other side. Um, we're gonna go check out another one on the other side on Cole Street that needed a little bit of work. Let's go see that one. So we just stepped off the park. We're on Cole Street and this is 164 and a half Cole Street. Now you can see it's under construction. The people that just bought it um, look like they're renovating. Um, this one sold for 879,000 just last year. And you can see it needs a little bit of work. Um, but look at the exterior detailing, very nice um, details over the arch of the doorway and this cute little pop out uh, bay window. Um, looks like they're putting in new windows, which is great because these old buildings definitely leak a lot of air out of the old windows. This one's 1160 square feet. It's a two bed, two bath. So I wonder if they'll be changing the layout a little bit to squeeze in some more, but it's pretty tight considering you've got a staircase in there that's gonna be eating up a lot of square footage. It's only 12 and a half feet wide by 70 feet deep. So um, definitely an interesting layout to, to take, a, take a look at and see how you can kind of Tetris yourself into that. Um, now, interestingly enough, the, the, the narrowest townhouse in Manhattan is eight foot seven inches. So this is, this is getting pretty close, but can you imagine eight foot? That's really tight. Uh, 12 foot seven, 12 foot five. Um, you could probably do a little bit more, but it's, it's still a, a tight squeeze. So interesting what they got here for 879. And um, definitely you can tell they're putting some money into it to renovate. Also some examples of some really skinny townhouses here in Hamilton Park and a couple of really cute ones on the other side here. This is Cole Street. Um, I'm actually wondering if those are even skinnier than 12 and a half. I'm gonna look that up when I get home. Um, but super narrow, uh, not quite eight feet like they saw in, like they have in Manhattan there, but um, very, very tight living. Now on the corners here, this is Pavonia, uh, a little bit grander like we saw on the other side there in Jersey Avenue. Um, you can see the homes here a little bit wider, a little bit better appointed, especially in the corner units. And I think these are more in the 17 range, uh, but just gorgeous stuff. And you're right off the park here on Pavonia. Beautiful townhomes. I'd love to live in this neighborhood. In addition to the public schools here in Jersey City, you also have a lot of private schools. Right here, we have the Hamilton Park Montessori School. We're walking along McWilliams Place here, which is where all the shops and restaurants that I was telling you about. Um, there's a salon here. You've got Tribeca Pediatrics um, for young kids um, it's a great actually a great system they have them all over the city and they have one here in jersey city as well here's the tennis courts i was saying you've also got the city bikes so you can take those over to the newport path station and what's cool about the middle of mcwilliams place is it hits pavonia which is the center axis of the park pavonia here is um, a pedestrian zone and you've got some cool restaurants down there. You've got Rumba Cubana, which 
which is really good. You've got chickies here, Italian food. Uh, there's another Italian sort of like shop on the other side. Um, there's a O Cafe on the other side that has nice coffees and stuff. Um, there's a really good uh, ice cream place here, Milk Sugar Love. And then down in the corner is the Word Bookstore. That was actually originally on Grove Street area, but they uh, just recently moved over here to take advantage of Hamilton Park. On the other side here is the basketball courts I was telling you about. So right behind me is 232 Pavonia. And the reason why I'm stopping in front of here is because there was a recent sale here of an apartment. So I wanted to give you an idea of what apartments go for. This was a condo, 1,268 square feet, two bed, two bath. This one went for 1.15 and was only on the market for a month or two. So definitely went fast. It's apartment 817 if you wanna check it out online. And you can see here, very new building. This is all done by uh, Silverman Properties. And this one's quite tall. Got a couple penthouse units on top. Newer brick building with this very nice shopping area underneath. So a lot of stuff going on here in Hamilton Park. And like I said, the historic buildings in the area are beautiful. It's definitely one of those stepping stone places if you're leaving the city or if you're relocating and you don't want to be quite in the city and what's nice about the park here is you just have that small vibe small scale vibe um, and almost like everything you need in this one little area so we're just walking down the pedestrian part i forgot to mention the wine store they have here madame claude and here's the other side of rumba cubana this is a really cool storefront it's kind of like that suit shop i showed you in summit link it here um, it's really narrow and right now it's being used as a waffle company it's been um, a Brazilian sort of uh, dessert store and one time it was like a panini shop um, so it's really cool it's probably like 50 square feet um, and then the other side here is the O Cafe and it looks like they, this used to be a Pilates but they just opened it as a bike store across the street is that really nice Italian uh, market that I was selling about. And then this is one of the elementary schools in the area. Just thought we'd end the tour on the north side of the neighborhood. This is Hamilton Pork behind me. Uh, really nice barbecue joint. And they have a cool backyard area as well. Um, definitely something to check out if you're looking to get into the area and explore a little bit. And then Got to end the tour at Hamilton Inn. This is a really cool pub, sort of bistro vibe. Um, they've got brunch, lunch, dinner, um, really good stuff here. It's right on this corner entrance. And I've eaten here a few times, brought family here. Really good food, good vibe inside, nice bar area. And right on the north side, the park is just down there. And we're, we're just on that northern border where 78 comes down and goes into the Holland Tunnel and definitely just a cool spot to hang out, grab a drink, have some food after work or on the weekend. And this is that outdoor area I was telling you, Hamilton Pork has. I think they're actually owned by the same owners. They've got this really cool Airstream trailer to do their service out of. So it's nice, it's, it's actually January right now I'm filming this and uh, it's 60 degrees. So nobody out there right now because it's just a weird time of year and uh, but can you imagine that'd be a nice spot to hang out and grab a drink on the weekend? Again, more townhouses surrounding the park. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the tour of Hamilton Park here in Jersey City. Um, if you found it helpful, definitely get in touch with us. We'd love to get you on a private tour here, show you some homes in the area if it's interesting to you. Uh, if there's other areas that are interesting to you, definitely let us know. We'd love to take you on, show you some of the other towns that we filmed on the channel. And uh, if you haven't seen it, check out the other video. I'll link it right here of the Jersey City tour. And um, I think it's going to give you a little bit more idea of what's here. The sixth borough, they call it. So it's a great area to check out if you're interested in leaving the city or relocating, but you don't want to be in the city. It's definitely a place to consider. So I'm Jeff. I hope you found that helpful and we'll see you in the next video.